think H.P. Lovecraft in a water world setting and you get the thrilling The Triangle from the Rise series by Robert P. Otone. Welcome to Pen to Paper. I am Leah, and here I'm super excited to talk about my single book review of The Triangle by Robert Piotone. Robert Piotone is a horror author. He has written a collection of short stories called People and Her Infernal Name and Other Short Stories. I believe that's the full title. I've read both of those, and he has a way of really grabbing the reader and giving the reader an experience of emotive horror stories. And this was no different. Although this is now the first in a series called the Rise series. Let me introduce to you a little bit the story and then my thoughts on it, and then my final review. As you can probably tell, I'm brimming with excitement and how much I loved this book, seriously. Robert, it was genius, I loved it. <laughs> okay, so we have Aslan and her father, Meryl. They are, how shall I describe them? They sail. Okay, basically the whole world, this is dystopian, is underwater. And people live in these flotillas of ships and homes, wrecks, and they've made a life on the seas. And so Aslan and her father Meryl, they run a small shop in their community of Coral Cove, and they are ordered by the Order, a very mysterious group that kind of controls the different flotillas lying around in that region and tells them that they need to go rescue, uh, I believe it was like an oil drill in the triangle. And then there's also a ship. Now, I don't know if they're actually, I can't remember if they're actually meant to rescue the ship or the oil drill. The Bermuda Triangle, let's just be more specific. So Merrill packs up all his things and he is off to do the, his, the order's bidding. And Aslan and her friend Ellis, who they have been very good friends since their youth, they sneak on board and they go with her father to the Bermuda Triangle. Now, there's some backstory here in that Aslan has lost her mother, and that does make an appearance throughout the book toward the end. But they get to the Bermuda Triangle and they find the oil drill, and then it's, it's caught on fire, and there's this ship, this ghost ship. Not really that it's a ghost ship, it's an actual ship, but it could be the treasure trove that Coral Cove needs. And they really want to bring this ship in back to their home because it could have medical supplies, all sorts of supplies from the world before it drowned or flooded, sorry. And it could just be very helpful to their community and to their lives. And so they decide that they're going to go on board this ship, figure out a way to get the engines going, and they'll tow it back home. There's this entity under the ship. It's almost like this gigantic eye. <laughs> I'm being very simple here, but there's so much more to it. And and Aslan, that's the daughter of Meryl, she sees something under the water, under this ship before they go on, and, and she just kind of takes note on it. And then they go to the ship and they find the control room and, and they're figuring things out, but these bodies of fishmen, slimy fishmen start coming onto the ship and they realize that they're not alone. And of course, there's the crux of the book is how are they going to survive these creatures that seem to be listening or beckoning um, or listening to the to the beckoning of this entity under the ship? And will they survive? Will they be able to bring the boat back home? These are all questions that I'm not going to answer for you today. But it was just 
Robert's imagination on this was so unique. It was such a unique book. I've never read a book like this before. And the characters are very endearing. I loved all of them. Uh, the father, I really enjoyed. You know, sometimes when you read books, the parents just kind of come off as one dimensional, not really caring, like they don't in actually enjoy their kids. Well, I loved Meryl and Aslan's relationship with each other. It was warm. It was tense at times, but you knew that they loved each other and that no matter what, they would they would work things out together. Uh, very strong family ties there. And and Ellis and Aslan, as I said, they've been childhood friends, but Ellis has feelings and, and you kind of see how their relationship develops in the midst and thickening of all this tension and suspense and, and danger as they're trying to deal with what do we do with these fishmen. And I forgot to mention, there's this mysterious orb in the control room that speaks to Aslan and calls to her and will she be able to, to, to keep those family ties and her ties with Ellis when there's this otherworldly calling to her? It was so good. And I can't wait to read the next one, which I believe is called The Monster. Don't quote me on that. But oh, it, it was incredible. I, I loved it so much. And the action scenes were tense and, and you really felt like you were there and the danger and even the villain. Okay, there's a few different villains. You have the fishmen, which are kind of the soldiers of this entity. That's one villain. But you have a man who came with them on the trip and he turns into one of the fishmen and he is like a secondary villain to the entity. And even the villain was you could kind of see he, he brought the hum humanity to what he was doing, even though he wasn't fully human anymore. He was a, he was a fish man. Ah, oh, this, it was just so great. It is young adults, but it was very entertaining. Uh, I went through it very quickly. Great read, easy read, but just fresh and full of life and I can't highly recommend it enough. So this is five stars. Please, if you like horror, Lovecraftian horror, like cosmic horror, and uh, some dystopian elements, and water worlds, and you, you got to get this book. So just letting you know. <laughs> so let me know. Are you going to get this book? Do you like this kind of... Um, do you like this kind of genre? And that's it. It was just amazing. Can't rave enough about it. All right, you all have a great week, and I'll see you next week with some more booktube content on Friday. Mm -hmm.